In 30 years of practice in medicine, I've never found anything this unusual lodged in a patient's knee. So finally, he takes his hand off and he shows us the x-ray. Take a look. I look at the x-ray and clear as day, there is a sewing needle. I immediately just had a flashback. This injury could have affected David for the rest of his life. When I first saw the x-ray, I've never felt more relief to be right in my life. There it is, you can clearly see it. It was in my knee, not in my head. I knew something was in there and something was wrong. And it's all my fault. What do you mean? That sewing needle, it's mine. We were packing and I dropped my sewing kit on the floor. I thought I picked up all my needles. Except one. Now we have to figure out how to get this needle out of your body. And then I was like, oh my god, there's a needle in my knee. What do we do about this? Is it permanent damage? I start freaking out again. I recommend surgery, but it's not going to be easy. I'll hook you up with one of my orthopedic specialists, and he'll have you up and running in no time. So he goes into surgery, and I'm waiting in this waiting room all by myself. And then his dad came in. David just got out of surgery, and the doctor says everything went really well. That's great news. You know, I never quite figured out how you kids got yourself into this. David never mentioned anything? No, he didn't, but fortunately you're about to. What happened is you had just gone out to get some packing tape, and while you were gone, we thought it would be a good time to get intimate. And he just looked at me and he's like, what? what? You, you were, were having, having sex? sex? You were having sex! <laughs> Why do you think David was naked? Well, I guess I just figured he got out of the shower. I, no wonder it took you guys so long to pack the boxes. Even after seeing his son naked, he still had no clue how this had happened. Hey. So the good news is I'll be making a full recovery. <laughs> That's great, son. Ah! Oh, oh, sorry. Ah, I'll make sure to leave my sewing kit locked safely in the closet. <laughs> Needles, ugh. I don't ever want to see another needle in my life. All right, son, come on, toughen up. I had no idea that sex on the floor could send me to the ER. 